This week's new releases are about two things, violence and robots, and sometimes violent robots. I promise some of it is at least light-hearted though, well, at least one of them is. You know what, let's just talk about some of the big games coming out this week. Perhaps the most anticipated game is one you might have already played. Dark Souls Remastered is taking us back to Lordran with a bunch of gameplay and resolution improvements, with some sweet 4K and 60fps support if you're rocking a PS4 Pro, Xbox One X, or capable PC. We've actually got some of that high-end gameplay on GameSpot right now if you want to check it out. And if you missed the Artorias of the Abyss DLC back when that launched, don't worry, that's also included here. And if you never played Dark Souls at all, here's your chance to play a remastered version on PS4, Xbox One, or PC on Friday, May 25th. Sadly, the Nintendo Switch version has been delayed to this summer. Things are going to stay violent with State of Decay 2. The sequel is throwing you back into the open world of undead survival, and for the first time, you can take it on with friends in co-op. Together or alone, you can step into the shoes of a survivor and build up your community. You can level up your team RPG style, build up your base with resources, and venture out into the world to find and help other survivors. That's happening on Xbox One and PC on Tuesday, May 22nd, when State of Decay 2 also launches day and date on Xbox Game Pass. And now for the robots, with perhaps the most famous video game robot of them all. Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2 are coming to Nintendo Switch, letting you play through all 10 of the Blue Bomber's adventures. Even better, they contain tons of concept art and other extra goodies from the series' history, plus remixed challenge levels. Collection 1 has the first 6 NES games for 15 bucks, Collection 2 has the 4 SNES games for 20, or you can get them both on a cartridge for 40. In any case, they all launch on Tuesday the 22nd. Just be sure to soak in all that glorious voice acting. But where is Dr. Wiley? That's a good question. We may be able to locate another energy emission from the radar room. When we find that media, we'll find Dr. Wiley. When Bloodstained Ritual of the Night was on Kickstarter, it passed a stretch goal for an additional 8-bit game. And here it is. Curse of the Moon stars a different protagonist, the demon hunter Zangetsu, but you can meet other playable characters along the way. Their special abilities will let you access different parts of the world, where I'm pretty sure you'll have to battle more monsters. You can hunt them down on PS4, Vita, Xbox One, PC, Nintendo Switch, and 3DS on Thursday the 24th. Let's finish up by combining both violence and robots. Detroit Become Human comes from developer Quantic Dream and director David Cage, whose signature style involves making a bunch of choices that totally change the outcome of each scene. In Detroit, those scenes involve androids finding sentience and coming to grips with what that means in a world full of good and not so good people. You can find out for yourself exclusively on PS4 on Friday, May 25th. And those are some of the hottest games we'll be playing this week. As always, remember that release dates are based on retailer listings and are subject to change. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be back with another episode of new releases next Sunday.